Welcome to the channel. Today we are looking at Valby and how to get her transcendent mud supply moisture. This might still be her best transcendent mud even when ultimate Valby comes out so it's worth looking at. Before we go any further into the video, DPJ wants to thank you for all your support that he's had on this game and he's giving away Ultimate Descendants every week. Unlike most people, his giveaways are actually legit and he's going to be picking on a weekly basis for people who like and comment on his videos. The more he sees of you, the more chance of you winning and winners will be picked and announced at the end of every week. And also go join the Discord, it's linked below and help him build his amazing First Descendant army. And the reason why you want this is that for Valby, this will provide you while you're standing on water, which is the main thing you do in this game with Valby spread water everywhere. It increases the skill, critical hit rate, skill duration and firearm attribute trigger rate. So while you're standing in water, you're getting a whole bunch of buffs or a whole bunch of things. But one of the things it doesn't list is that you will get firearm critical hit rate increase of 20%. Now that isn't 20% of the base critical hit rate, it's just an additional 20%. So if I go into my Thunder Cage, you can see that the critical hit rate is at 30.7%. That is a base percentage with the additional of my mod which is better insight where it gives you plus 39 percent that takes 39 percent of the base crit and adds it on so it's not actually adding on 39 percent however when you stand in water with supply moisture it will add 20 percent to the base crit rate and then that will also be implemented with better insight so better insight will make it go further so even though on supply moisture it tells me 20 percent you're actually going to see that i'll get nearly 30 percent or just over 30 percent so 30.7 percent let's throw out some water and then let's stand on it boom you can now see that it's 61.4 percent so 61.4 percent of my shots are going to come out as crit or at least have a chance to do that and you can just see then it popped back to 30 percent because the water underneath me ran out so what does that mean for this weapon if i run over here and i start shooting this annihilator you can see that i'm getting the 400,000 crits fairly often but not like a lot that was actually quite a lot in that clip but i'm getting a lot of yellow and i'm getting you know 220,000 on the precision pretty goddamn beast but if i throw out the water and i stand in it you can now see that those 400,000s pop up a hell of a lot more and those precisions seem to pop up more as well the standing in water just gives you way more chance of getting those crit shots putting out more damage and dps so yeah pretty goddamn powerful and definitely going to be worth it for valby in general but ultimate valby probably also will be using this transcendent mod because as far as i can tell this is her best mod but we'll have to wait and see what comes with the transcendent valby and how powerful that can be but this is phenomenal so how do you get it now your best chance of getting these is to farm the void intercept battles on hard because all of these bosses will drop transcendent mods for you on a regular basis but you just have to get lucky of getting supply moisture but if you wanted to target farm supply moisture there is a small percentage chance that you can get it from one of the reactor missions but I'm going to help you try to make it a little bit easier. So if we head over to Hagios on hard mode you can see that the void fusion reactor offers you supply moisture at 2.5 percent acquisition chance now whenever you're farming you never think about i have a 2.5 percent chance of getting this item you should say i've got a 97.5 percent chance of not getting it this can take hours and hours or even days to get i got it within four hours so if we head over here to this void fragment mission you can see that you get 18 organic void shards and five inorganic void shards every single time you complete this you need a fire elemental character and you need to do it on hard because if i switch this to normal you will see that you get much less rewards for your time however if you do the reactor on normal which is what we're going to do you only lose a 0.5 percent chance of getting supply moisture but it costs way less to activate the reactor so essentially we're going to farm these void fragment missions on hard to basically get double to triple the amount of shards it costs to activate the reactor one time on normal so this is just going to be way more efficient in terms of getting materials and spending them and you only lose a 0.5 percent chance of getting supply moisture but it is negligible 
you are either going to get this in a couple of hours or you're going to get it in weeks <laughs> it's as simple as that there's no in between so losing that 0.5% it's not that big of a deal but getting the void shards faster and more efficient definitely is a big deal so we do the void fragment on hard then we switch to normal go do the reactor however what if you don't have a fire based descendant so any of these void fragment missions this one is non-attribute will give you shards this one gives you all of them monomer polymer inorganic and organic all of them being three of each so if you wanted to farm them all together you go look for one of these or you can go find another one on a different part of the planet this is on agna desert and you will get 20 organic void shards and three inorganic void shards but you need an electric based character so essentially you just need to go through and find which attribute you have drops you the right amount of void shards that you want and while i'm here on my badass looking lepic that looks kind of a little bit like winter soldier i'm not going to take you through all of this but i'm going to show you basically you start it by using an ability of the right element type and then usually a whole bunch of enemies will just run at you coming to attack you and you have to do several waves of these so i'm just going to very quickly get through this first wave just so i can show you the next part of the mechanic just to make it clear if you've never done these before if you're new to these this is the best way to farm these void shards so you know we want to make sure everyone knows how to do them properly so after you've got through like the first amount of enemies like this one here is 65 enemies if you look up at the top you can see i'm at 51 out of 65 now i'm at 56 out of 65 i need four more which are these four here then the shield drops and i just have to hit it with another attack that is based in your elements then you just do it all over again and finish it up and get your rewards and boom we are finished in the bottom right you're going to see them pop up organic shards and inorganic shards now what we need to do is change this to normal over here and we're going to spawn at the closest spawn point to that area it's going to change to normal and then we're going to go do the reactor now if you do use lepic you just need to pull out his ultimate and you'll pretty much get this done straight away two enemies spawn you just hit them with everything you've got and boom they're finished then you have a chance of getting it on the bottom right i didn't get it and also if you have amorphous material you can use this device when you have enough of the materials you can just stand here and keep doing it over and over again and you'll get like six seven eight of these all just piling up on top of each other after about six of them i suggest just resetting going to albin and coming back because the game starts to lag on console so you know just be weary of that but that is the farm for supply moisture but there is one more thing i want to quickly add on recently there was a patch to change how special operations work and all of these will now also drop those shards at a much lesser rate than the void fragment missions but if you were to go into let's say the neutralized void experiment which drops more of these shards more often and you go to the hardest one on hagios you can do a whole bunch of farming here you can get a whole bunch of gold like close to a million a run you can get the shape stabilizers you can get the amorphous materials but you will also get you know roughly probably about five of each from my experience so if you wanted to farm gold and items and also have a chance of getting those shards these are the best places to do them and you can also collect marks for arrest from those missions the further you get into them which can give you anywhere from 100,000 on the purple ones to 1 million gold on the ultimate versions of them so it's everything you need to know on how to get supply moisture definitely worth it in my opinion go out and get it thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome